Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Respected scholars and ulama, the audience here in Doha, and all those listening in via live streaming all over the world. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It is as much an honor as a great pleasure for me to be here today on behalf of Kyle Alumni Network, COM. In 2014, Kyle hosted its first summer school, bringing together participants from diverse backgrounds and cultures in the beautiful city of Granada to deepen their understandings of Islamic ethics. While attending this summer school, intensive lectures by eminent scholars triggered vigorous discussions. The engagements resulted in the birth of an international network of individuals committed to addressing contemporary challenges through critical thinking anchored in deep spirituality. Since then, and with every summer school, new members have been joining the network and enriching the Kyle experience. Khan experience. Kyle Alumni Network, Khan, aims at creating global organization of individuals to support Kyle's activities, develop and spread the message of Islamic ethics, and amplify it globally. In light of the theme of this year's conference, Khan is committed to every effort that would enable a better understanding of Islamic ethics and how it may help and inspire us to take environmental action in all corners of the world towards a more sustainable future. The challenges of the environmental crisis and the questions needed to be addressed are many and complex, as they are rooted in conceptions and epistemologies that are so deeply embedded in the structures of society. Another equally pressing issue is that of social justice and our responsibility to those that will suffer the impacts of the environmental crisis the most. With this regard, scholars from religious studies, history of religions, philosophy, and theology have for the past two decades created the field of religion and ecology with implications for, the, um, for theory and practice, for policy and practice. They argue that the world religions have a key role in facing this time, our time's environmental challenges. The religions of this world can be active participants in finding solutions along with scientists, economists, and policymakers. Indeed, the potential of religions to infuse an ethical and spiritual dimension to the environmental movement is now emerging around the world. There is much grave concern in the environmental challenges that we are facing, but there is also a hopeful note to it. We face a point in history where we have to change, and thus we have the opportunity to actively partake in what kind of values we want to inform our society. <clears throat> um, environmental ethics are deeply embedded in the Quran, Hadith literature, and the Islamic tradition. And it is now influencing Muslims around the world to take action. However, many studies have underscored the gap between theory and practice. While there might be textual passages celebrating nature and infusing environmental ethics, this does not automatically lead to protection of nature. In addition, scholars have noted scholars within the field have recognized a disjunction of religious traditions and modern environmental issues, noting the historical and cultural divide between texts written in earlier periods for different ends. We definitely need more efforts to be put on both sides. Understanding these religious injunctions related to the environment and applying them efficiently in our everyday life. As Khan members, we hope this conference will help shed some light on this urgent contemporary issue and thereby raise awareness about the religiously embedded imperative for every human being to protect nature through a daily committed practice. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. <laughs>